comparison screen is actually one of the more useful screens in Football Manager. It gives you a comparison across the division. For example, we can tell you now that we've got the average age 26, which is about average in the Premier League. Our height is actually one of the smallest at 5 foot 11. That's probably a couple of um, Bernardo Silvers there. The average weight is about right. We've got the highest average in international caps. We've got about the average in international youth caps. We've got the highest average wage. We haven't actually got the highest average transfer value, which might be because we've got a couple of youngsters and reserves included. Uh, there you go. Liverpool got 101. The worst average is Sheffield United. On average, is 52. Currently, we've got four players injured. Chelsea, the worst, with 19. If you want to do it, you can just filter this out like so. So we've got no injuries. On like Chelsea, on average, your caps are 10. And on average, we've got actually the smallest goalkeepers as well. If you want to look at, say, defenders, you're going to look at them there. Oh, Brighton, I've got 106. That seems a bit odd. 116 million. But anyway, that's just the overarching ones. And then you get into, and these are the key bits. So this is all positions. And this is things like decision making, first touch, passing, strength, work rate, teamwork, leadership, and aggression. So you can see here for decision making, passing, we're, uh, and work rate, we're actually one of the highest in the league. For the strength and leadership, we actually are the best. Right. What we're going to start doing now is actually looking at is our goal. How is our goalkeepers up, up to scratch? So goalkeeper decision making is fourteen. That's the well. To be fair, fourteen point five is at the top. So that, and if that's only two keepers, that could be one fifteen. One's got fourteen. So that's not too bad. We got the best first touch and best passing. We're not the strongest goalkeepers. Work rate's okay. Teamwork's okay. And we're not the most aggressive. Go back into your defenders, see the same thing. Work rate, first touch isn't bad. It's got the best. Liverpool uh, and passing there. Anyway, so you can flick all for you. But what you really want to do is then start going into the actual positions. So for goalkeepers, you don't need strikers, defenders and midfielders. So take them off. Kicking's the best, reflexes isn't too bad, handling is not too bad, not great in the air. Command of area is pretty good, one-on-one's average. There you go, and agility. So go into this offence and do the same thing. You don't need, defender, only need defenders and find out about defence. We're the quickest in acceleration and good at positioning, so that means we're going to be, even if we get caught out, we're going to be pretty much on the spot, we're good. We're not the best jumping, but I guarantee you that's probably because of the fullbacks. Heading, tackling, all above average, which is very nippy as well. So that's pretty good. Uh, come up the defence and into midfield. And as you'd expect, passing and vision and technique based on Silva and De Bruyne and Matias Nunes, Kovacic and probably Rodri, we are expecting to be the highest. Uh, you got long shots, which are about over average. Stamina, teamwork, tackling about average because we, we do have quite a lot of technical players. And decision making is quite good. And just do this, just go through it and see what strikers are like. So we know we've got Haaland and Alvarez, so our pace is the best. Off the ball movement isn't the best, but that's okay. Jumping reach, we're not expecting a high jumping reach. And heading, for example, that's quite low. But anticipation of off the ball and strikers is very good. Physical, as you can see here, actually we're quite physically dominant in acceleration, fitness, pace, strength and stamina. These are the key pits there, so that's fine. If you look at the mentals, this is quite good because it gives you the overview of what the average is. And this is obviously Manchester City. This is the best. What you want to know is when you take over clubs, it's where you sit when you're, you've just got promoted. So, for example, Burnley have the lowest position in across all positions. So that means they're probably going to get caught out more. But if you go, okay, give me the best in defence. Okay, so Luton the worst, 11.9, but the average is 14. So if you went, okay, so if I can get a defender around 14 positioning, that's the best in the league uh, so for defenders because they aren't really needed. But things like bravery, composure, concentration, determination and leadership, as well as vision and work rate, are amongst the highest ones. If you go and have a look at midfielders, you can see your bravery, composure, concentration, flair, positioning and vision are highest again. And strikers, this is mentals, obviously. It's flair. If you go to technicals, we got finishing. If you go to finishing, for example, the strikers, best first touch, not the best finishing. Newcastle are the best finishing. There's a surprise for you. Uh, marking, obviously, that's, that's technical, so that's not a massive issue. 
But if you go to Defenders, for example, and look at things like Marking, technically, we actually have some of the weakest areas. So make of it what you will. Use the comparison tool quite good. Keep an eye. What you want to try and do is recruit above the average so your average slowly creeps up so that you get better players in, but that helps inform your decisions. So that's using all the analysis tools on day one to figure out how good is your squad, what can you do with it, where can you improve, and where's your weaknesses. Mm -hmm.